Hello everybody, welcome to Paracrew. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to remote control your computer using Discord. For those of you who don't know what Discord is, Discord is a messaging platform which is really popular with gamers. But what makes Discord special is that it has a really, really powerful API which we're going to leverage to control our computer. Now in order to do that, we're going to be using a tool called Chimera. Chimera acts like a bot inside Discord and accept commands which we are going to use. As you can see, currently Chimera supports locking your computer, shutting it down, sleeping, hibernation, restarting, executing command prompt commands, PowerShell commands, and also making the computer speak. Also, Chimera is written in a way that is modular, which promises to have more features on the way. Now, in order to install and run Chimera, we will need Python 3 and the discord.py module. So let's get started. First of all, head over to the python.org website and go over where it says downloads and hit Python 3.6.5 and download the executable. Once you have downloaded, just go ahead and double click it to install it. I already have Python installed, but you should go ahead and install yours. On the initial screen, there will be a tick on the down part of the installation box where it says to add Python to the Windows path. Make sure that is ticked. And also at the end, there will be an option to expand the Windows path size, if I'm not mistaken. You should also have that enabled. So when you're done with your Python installation, I'm going to quit mine right now because I already have it. Head over to the repository of Chimera, which I have linked in the description below. And what you want to do is hit where it says Chimera.py, hit where it says raw and hit control S on your browser and save the file somewhere. I'm going to save it on my desktop right now. And once you have saved the file, head over to where you have it and open it with a text editor. I recommend doing that with Notepad++. It's my favorite text editor. And leave it open, we're gonna have to insert a key. So after this, you will want to go over to this URL over here, which I also have linked in the description below. And once you have logged into Discord, you will be greeted by a screen like this. And then click where it says new app. Under app name, type in Chimera. If you want, you can add the description. I will say, Chimera remote administration tool. If you want, you can add an icon. I will leave it blank and hit create app. Okay, so now once your app has been created, what you want to do is go over here where it says create a bot user. Hit yes, do it. And over here, you want to say click to reveal. Make sure that none of these two are ticked. Now what you want to do is copy your token and open up the text file that we opened earlier and find line 18 where it says bot token, highlight where it says enter token here and paste your key. Make sure you do not remove the quotes on the sides. Now, once you're done with that, hit save by clicking control S and now you can close the file. Next step is to open up PowerShell and type in pip install discord.py and this will install the Discord Python module. Next, head over to Discord and create a new server. I will name mine personal. And what we're gonna do now is connect our bot to our server. Keep in mind that what we wanna do is keep only ourselves and our bot into our server because if we connect our bot to a public server, other people will be able to control our computer. Now go back to where you have your chimera.py file and while holding down shift, right click and select open PowerShell window here. Now once you do that, hit Python chimera dot pi and hit enter this will start up our bot and as you can see it will give us some information what we need from here is this url so i'm just gonna go ahead and copy it open up my web browser paste it and hit enter now go where it says select a server and select your personal server and click authorize and as you can see our bot has joined into our discord server so let's open up our discord server and there you go chimera has joined our server now we can use Chimera to execute commands. So to test it out, let's use the say command. Never gonna give you up, never gonna let you down, never gonna run around and desert you. As you can see, it works. Let's also test the lock command to see if Chimera can lock our computer. So I'm gonna type in exclamation point lock and say I want to lock my computer in five seconds. I'll type in five and hit enter. And there you go, my computer got locked. Keep in mind that Chimera only works while you have the Chimera bot running in Python. It can be a little bit of annoying to have the Python window open over here. So once you have connected Chimera for the first time to your server, you don't have to have the window open all the time. You can just close it. Rename the file to pyw instead of just py. 
hit yes. And what this does is that every time you double click the file now, Chimera will open up silently in the background and there will be no window. So if we open up Discord, as you can see Chimera is still running in the background without a window. Now if you want Chimera to automatically start and run silently when your computer starts, what you can do is hit Windows plus R and type in shell common startup and hit OK. This will open up the startup folder and what you want to do is copy your chimera.pyw into this folder. Hit continue. And now every time you start up your computer, Chimera will automatically run in the background. For the full and latest list of commands, you want to head over to the GitHub page and find that information from there. What makes Chimera really convenient is when you have the Discord app on your phone. So say for example that I want to leave my computer on for a while and then have it shut it down remotely, I can use Chimera. So this was it for today's video guys, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give us a thumbs up below and also subscribe for more awesome content. I will see you in the next video.